fam, how we doing? It's here blogging, not even blogging, vlogging with y'all. Kind of let y'all get, you know, a little into the personal. Let you, I, it's almost like y'all get to see the behind the scenes one of just when I do videos and whatnot. And, <clears throat> you know, because I feel like I haven't been all the way transparent with you guys just kind of you know let y'all see a little bit more and the reason i have been transparent is y'all know motherfucker works and you know what i do for a living i don't talk about it for obvious reasons but a lot of my day well my job encompasses my day so i can't always come on here and be completely like oh my god what the fuck happened that day you know that type of bullshit because like i said y'all know motherfuckers be trolling my channel motherfuckers that you know i work with so I don't really need them all in my business like that, you feel me? So, but yeah, right now it's kind of like taking care of some business, kind of like going through the YouTube, uh, you know, archives, trying to get everything done. I know a lot of people were happy to see the uh, lab that I did with uh, Lady Nika, uh, James Cowo, and uh, Much Love. There were other people to join, but just other YouTubers uh, literally slid on through. And show me some love, and the whole in, the whole intent was like, you know, of course it's Christmas time. Everybody's gonna be running around with they, you know, heads cut off and everything. So kind of giving some, giving you guys something where it's just like, okay, I'm driving, but I can listen to these motherfuckers cut up for the duration, or I'm cooking, but you know, to kind of take my mind off, you know, just something where it's like you don't necessarily have to see us, but you know, just watch and listen. So. I said that shit was cool, so, you know, like, people, uh, commenting on the videos, because, uh, I pretty much uploaded five, that let y'all know how long we're actually fucking on there cutting up, but doing that, um, I'm also, um, restructuring my room, I'm cleaning up, I'm prepping to put stuff in storage, uh, <clears throat> and, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna say this, fuck spring cleaning, I'm winter cleaning on y'all asses. You know, and here's the thing, when springtime comes, uh, more or less when Passover comes, and I kind of just gave y'all a hint right there, I'll let you guys know where the origins of um, spring cleaning came from, because believe it or not, the origin spring of spring cleaning came from uh, Passover, but that's for when the holiday actually gets here, teach y'all a little bit about that, but, um, but yeah, just uh, doing that, um, and the whole reason for the whole winter cleaning is, I look at it this way, um, I want to make sure that the ambiance is straight and when I come back for 2016, just making sure that everything is GTG, you know, good to go, uh, just the whole motherfucking nine, you feel me, so, I'm trying to make sure all that's done, just make sure all my ducks in a row, you know, like, I, I do believe that the way you start more, more ugh, most of the time is like the way you finish, so, I was trying to get, you know, reorganized and everything, you know, also trying to get everything set up because, uh, you know, tomorrow we're going to do a little bit of working out, going to go for a walk. I'm probably not going to uh, vlog the whole walk. I'll do what I did the last time. I should periscope, but I'll just do it for this, but uh, pretty much just walk, and um, once I get to a good point because I said there's a part on the trail that nobody goes because it really doesn't lead anywhere where you have to turn back around so more or less I think when I probably get to like that part of the walk either going or coming I'll probably uh get back on because like I say you know sometimes you don't want to and I do the long walks because you know one is good for you know me and my body again I know y'all seeing my face getting slender and everything but it also is just you know, a moment to just like relax and the trail that I go on, a uh, whole lot of nature and everything, so I can clear my mind, you know, get to talk to God, just like that whole thing kind of helps me recenter. And I normally do it uh, once a uh, week, and it's either Saturday or Sunday. I did like two, no, I'm lying, I did like three times already this week. I'm going to do it tomorrow, tomorrow, Saturday. Might even do it again Sunday if I'm feeling froggy, you know. So, yeah, yeah, be back. <sighs> Saturday, y'all, it's almost uh, 10 o'clock. As I told y'all, y'all know I go on my little uh, weekend walks. Um, depending on, I guess, like how I walk it, it's anywhere from uh, 
7.70 miles to upwards of like 7.85, somewhere around there. So pretty much seven to three fourths mile, and typically get it done in two hours. So pretty good. So yeah, I'm getting ready to do that. Um, putting my stuff on right now, pretty and on some real shit. Um, I'm actually happy that I'm in fucking North Carolina right now, cause those real shit, the fucking weather, y'all, this shit is insane. Um, I'm trying to get this up, cause it's December 26. It is fucking 68 degrees outside right the fuck now and I'm pretty sure I got uh yeah and in uh Chicago it's 41 degrees but it feels like 33 degrees <laughs> y'all gotta remember you know Windy City all that good shit but I say it's 68 degrees right here in uh fucking damn North Carolina and I know some people mad because oh my gosh I wanted a white holiday you know I'm gonna say this fuck that okay I, I might have to slide on through and give y'all a video about me and winter time. Like, I don't mind winter. I don't mind the cold. What a motherfucker do mind is uh, shoveling all this motherfucking snow. <laughs> if I could just keep 100. Ain't, damn it, not a, I didn't halfway put this damn shoe on. Forgot to put my damn knee brace on. Ain't this about a blip? Yeah, for y those of y'all who don't know, like I said, I did have a, a lateral release done on both my knees back in 2013. You know, so gotta get the brace on. Yeah. Cause like I said I can do this walk without the brace, but about halfway into the walk, I know I'm gonna feel it. <laughs> so yes. And I'm actually going to do my weigh in when I get back. Cause I haven't weighed myself I think since earlier this week. Um should be interesting to actually see where I'm at. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm very, very close to my first goal. My first goal is um, hitting 200, actually 220. That's my first goal is getting down to 220 because that was uh, my pre-surgery weight. Then uh, my next goal is getting down to 200. That is uh, where I was before I truly started having a lot of the uh, knee problems. And, you know, my my last goal is to try to hit 190 by next year this time. Because like I said, I turn 30 next year. And if all goes well, I want to throw myself a dirty 30. And I'm gonna just leave it right there. And if y'all and if y'all asking what is a dirty thirty, the best way I can explain it is, you know, it's dirty. If I end up having a party, I want it to be where when you walk in, it's like the atmosphere makes you feel dirty even though you're playing. That's what I'm going toward. So y'all see I'm repping bodybuilding.com. Like I said, uh <laughs> they ain't sponsoring me, but hey, you know, free free advertisement, but Got that going on. I ain't trying to show y'all too much, but you know, I got the uh, meter on and also a little sweat band. So I actually took a couple things. I'll do a product review about some of this later, but the uh, heart rate monitor is the Map My Fitness, uh, Map My uh, Run. That was on one of the app reviews that I did. Um, I said Sweet Sweat. I have the Sweet Sweat on in addition to Saran Wrap and the Sweat Band for a couple of reasons um the whole purpose is like i said sweet sweat and i actually have sweet sweat on my uh, quads and my glutes and the whole purpose is uh when you use it it's supposed to help uh, burn more calories uh on whatever body parts you place it on especially if those body parts are engaged and seeing as how i do engage my core i have it on my uh abs i have saran wrap over it because like i said this is going to somewhat clog the pores which is going to cause me to sweat saran wrap to help reinforce it and then the uh sweat band to further enforce that but also it's to kind of keep you know my uh posture up because if you're like i said i walk 
And if you walk with, uh, you know, pretty much, you know, sticking your chest down and everything and keeping your abs, uh, like, very elongated and whatnot, that will help to slim you out even more. Putting y'all up on some game right quick. But I'll do a uh, product review for uh, Sweet Sweat. You guys, like I said, y'all going to get product reviews more or less for anything B365 related. You guys are going to get that in 2016. And for my pre-workout, pretty much took the uh, performance. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, the way that is uh, is designed is that you know you get the uh, that initial rush, but it have little beads in it. Um, like I said this is this isn't a product review, but kind of let you guys see, and I need to get some more. But little beads in it, and it's supposed to like release as you're doing your workout to kind of help. Um, you know, you get there, and this is most like I'm mostly well. No, I use it all the time if I'm doing. Uh, any muscle related workouts, I'm gonna take two scoops because my ass is going in. If I'm going, if I'm doing a walk, I take one scoop because I need something to push me. What I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to have <clears throat> a different pre workout just for cardio days and probably use this because there's several different um, pre workouts that I've used. This is uh, the newest and latest, so I'll probably do a proper review on this and the others. So, yeah, yeah, and. Let me readjust this damn do rag and shit. Damn glass falling off. And I'm gonna let y'all know when I do my walk, I'm not wearing the yarmulke, and that's only because a mug finna be sweating all that good jazz, and mm -mm, I ain't got time for that. Hell, just leave the damn do rag on. Do rag gone. All right, so <clears throat> finna go ahead, get ready for this walk, and if I can think of anything to talk to y'all about. I will pull this camera out and we'll have a little chit chat. Be back in a little bit. What's up, y'all? I'm on the trail. I know y'all see all this in the background. Um, initially, I was like, okay, I'll turn this on, talk to y'all. But at the same exact time, I don't like turning on the camera and not having anything to talk about. I think that's crazy and I think that's wasting y'all time. But, you know, it's Saturday. Uh, it's a Sabbath for me, and I know some of you might be like, why are you out walking? It's a work. It's a scenic walk, too. So, even though I'm getting a workout, <laughs> it's a scenic walk, like I said. Even though there's a highway off to my left, and then when I turn around, I'll be on my right. But, off to my left, you know, this is very, very serene, you know. So, but while being out here, you know, I have... Well, in general, I haven't done the Spirit and Soul in quite some time because I'm working on some stuff with that. And again, I don't like acting outside of what I feel God is telling me. But being out here and, you know, it's almost a new year, of course. I think I got something for y'all in that realm. <clears throat> and it's one of those where, number one, you make time for what it is that you really truly want. You know, you'll make time for it. My question to all of y'all is, are y'all truly making time for God? Because for me, it's a relationship. You know what I'm saying? I understand the religion and the doctrine. For me, it is a, a relationship. So with any relationship, how much time do you devote to it? You know... How much energy, energy do you put into it to make it work, to make it last? Questions that, if you guys haven't asked yourselves, I challenge you to definitely do it. You know, because one thing that I try to do, and again, not every day I'm able to do it, more or less, I at least try to make sure that when I wake up in the morning, I talk to God have some dialogue if at a minimal don't even ask for nothing just say thank you for waking me up this morning okay <laughs> at a minimal just say thank you thank you lord sometimes you know what i'm saying it's not even asking for anything just saying thank you lifting up those praises but and i ain't trying to go ultra super or anything but i try to give god 10 percent of my day I know people like to talk about tithe and whatnot. I ain't finna get into that. <laughs> God know it'll probably piss people off. I ain't here to do that. But I like to give God 
10% of my day. 2.4 hours, so two hours and like 40 minutes out of the day. Which, between just the regular prayers that I have to do, you know, and more often than not, a lot of silent prayer. You know, meditation. I like to play um, relaxing music. I actually do have Jewish meditation music that I have on. Uh, I tr You know, and if y'all say, well, I don't have time. And my phone rang here. I'll be back. Uh, my bad for that, y'all. Uh, like I said, I was out walking, I got a phone call, so I wanted to go ahead and take that. <clears throat> but all that I was really trying to say is, um, you know, I try to give, you know, God 10% of my day, you know, 2.4 hours, you know, 2 hours, 40 minutes a day. <clears throat> and, you know, as I'm saying this, you know, we, uh, how can I say, we make time for what we want and you know a lot of people might be like oh you know don't have time you know to do this a time to do that like right now i like I, said, I just got done doing my walk you know again if you guys are not you know uh friends with me with the whole map my walk like i said go ahead and find me join me all that good jazz we can walk together but while out there you know <clears throat> it's sabbath communicating talking with you know god the whole and just you know enjoying my day of rest i'm about to take a nice long shower i know that's somewhat of a tmi but in the midst of me taking this long shower i can sit here and praise him while i'm in there you know just be like because here's the thing what, what can i talk about i can be like thank you for hot water thank you for me being able to take a shower you know and have light have this electricity you know just but again taking every moment being happy in each moment and praising him in each moment. But, you, again, we make time for our, what we want, you know. And being able to just give I'm not, And I'm not coming up here telling y'all that y'all need to sit here and pray two hours and 40 minutes a day. Because if, if you can't do it, you can't do it. But just making more time. And even being on that walk, you know. <clears throat> what I really wanted to share is, you know, sometimes you have to pull yourself away to truly be able to listen to what it is God may be trying to tell you. Because as long as we stay so, I guess, fixed in our lives and with the day-to-day, -day, like if we stay engrossed in that and we don't separate ourselves from the physical and, you know, even to tap into the spiritual, God might be trying to tell us some clear as day, but because we're distracted by the noises of the world, we can't hear what he's saying. And I think I even did a video about it, but just trying to be on the right frequency. So that's all that I was trying to say. So I decided that I'm going to give you guys like a behind the scenes look today. I'm sorry, I got to try to adjust this and everything. A little behind the scenes of how I actually do a lot of uh, YouTube stuff. Because uh, what a lot of people may not realize is it's not as easy as just like record. Especially for those who do like more put together uh, videos. <clears throat> it's more complex and more detail. I'm actually about to um, shoot my um, shout out Saturday. Um, uh, why can't I think right now? My shout out Saturday video. Um, and even with that, I was trying to figure out like who am I going to do for the day because I didn't have anybody in the lineup. But yeah, I actually have a good video for that. I'm actually going to talk uh, shout out uh, James Cowell, Lady Nika, Sean Bradley, and Much Love from KY because they <clears throat> showed support on uh, the Trending Topics video that I did on Blab. I normally save uh, tabloids and Trending Topics with T. That's the name of my Trending Topics segment for Periscope. And I do it on Periscope to do the back and forth uh, chatting with everyone. And then I upload it to YouTube and let it rest there because as you guys know, Periscope will drop a video after 24 hours <clears throat> but we did the blab one as just like a christmas edition you know ooh, 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 people hit me up just a christmas edition you know so people can um you know just like have something to listen to while they're cooking or while they're driving or whatever or they might even be cleaning but be able to hear us cut up you know so i'm actually about to do that shout out video so you guys get to see me put all of that together so let me grab my stuff Y'all come on with me. I got got this on my little tripod and everything. So uh, I'm just trying to get my little setup, get everything set up. I'm right now getting the camera together, like I said. 
this this is when y'all get to see me all up close and personal and everything. So getting the camera and whatnot together. Come on, to set up the tripod, all that good jazz. Shoot this video, edit. So you guys are gonna get to see just a get to see quite a bit right now. I'm trying to see how how much room y'all can see. Cause like I said, I'm about to go ahead and like set everything up. Cause I'm about to turn the lights on, put the camera on the tripod, put move the chair over there, shoot, you know, come back. So, you know, ooh, mm, mm, I don't want y'all see my uniform now. I mean, I look good in blue, but I don't need y'all seeing all that and everything. All right, so more or less when I probably upload this piece, it'll probably kind of like speed through and y'all get to see the whole setup and everything. So, yeah, I'm about to do that right now. So everything is set up. I'm gonna go ahead and do what I gotta do. Come back and you guys are gonna get to see me edit it. All right, all right. So I just finished recording the video. I'm actually popping my SD card into my MacBook to go ahead and um, get this video up because like I said, it's 3.06 right now. And <laughs> I try to have it up, well, by this time so I'm actually behind the curve and it is don't stop December so trying to get this done and out there <clears throat> and what is crazy is like you know having the uh, green screen over there it actually helps when I try uh, well not try but in just giving you guys better content because in general because I was actually going to wait until uh, 2016 to give you guys um, this but I'm like, you know what? Nah. Let me go ahead and just, you know, step it up right now. So, what's it? Y'all have to excuse me when I'm doing this. Like I said, if I, like, sometimes I have to, like, focus in on certain things, especially when I'm typing. I can talk and edit everything because when I'm typing, I got to focus. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. Just um, like, all right, go ahead and step it up for you guys right now and just, you know, give you guys the best of me. So what you guys get with these blog vlogs starting now is you guys can just get to see me raw, unedited. Like what you see is truly what you get. And I and I hope I hope that's all right with y'all. I hope. I, gosh darn it. <laughs> uh I had to just put the video in here and I forgot to add my intro. Luckily for me, I haven't like already went so deep into this. So let me see. <clears throat> what I'll do is like I'll kind of like <clears throat> flip the screen back and just kind of let y'all see me do a little bit of editing while I'm still talking. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna cut off and come back. So <clears throat> sorry for my hand being all shaky and whatnot, but pretty much you guys just kind of get to see um me put this together I said I, I have files of the Wuha you guys <clears throat> so pretty much find my intro there it is add it da, da, da. and come on down here so you guys see the intro there so honestly a lot of the hard work has been done uh, there's not a whole lot of oh why did I do that give me a second I don't have to really edit a whole lot of this um, mostly due to the fact that, you know, it's pretty much just a one shot, one kill, if you will. So, drop in my background. Try to zoom out a bit. So, this shouldn't have been a long video. So, pretty much with the green screen is I have to put the uh, actual um, back part on there first. Check this out. But uh, the back part in first. And then from there, just go ahead and stack the video on top of it. And that wasn't long enough. Uh-oh. Give me a second. <clears throat> like I say, it's, it's not too, too difficult. But trust me when I say it's a lot more than just 
oh wow, I recorded a video on and I upload it. Like, no, there's still more to this. You know, as they say, it's levels to this shit. <laughs> Alright, so just kind of move this over, set that on top, put that here. And all that I really need to do at this point is um, make sure that everything is like about the same length and size, which it just about is. So actually, before I click off, just so you guys can just kind of like see it a little bit better, the green screen, like up here, pretty much just click and select a uh, green slash blue screen. And you can now see that the background has changed. So, you know, stepping it up for you guys. So just a little bit. And then from there, it's just, you know, edit it, save it. And then from there, upload that whole good jazz. So just a little bit of behind the scenes, you guys. This week is uh, not, this week is going to be an interesting week. Like I said, it is Monday. Definitely have a lot to do. I, this is actually like my last week before I go back to work. <laughs> So I'm trying to make the most of it in more ways than one. Um, right now, I'm actually getting ready to do some archiving. And more or less what that is, is uh, I'm about to uh, set up the studio and uh, shoot some videos. Uh, I, I was, it was I was trying to uh, figure out if I was going to do Jumpstart January, and it's only because, you know, I'm finishing up uh, Don't Stop December. And I, and, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, I don't want to oversaturate. I don't want to just, you know, put so much out there and people be looking at me like, oh, God, boy, do you ever shut up? <laughs> you know, which I do, which I do. You know, I, I do know it has to shut up now. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, so right now I'm just uh, gathering all the stuff for the tag videos to do. And if you guys are wondering what the fuck are these, I got these when I was in Korea. You know, little like sock em hammers, you know. Like, I have two, you know, in the event somebody comes over. It was like, you know what, fuck it, let, let's just fight, you know. Just something fun to have. Like I said, y'all know I'm a big fucking kid. Get that back in the picture. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big ass kid. Big fucking kid. But outside of that, I am, yeah, truly getting ready to uh, shoot uh, a lot of videos. Um, I know today uh, I'm going to upload um, my reaction video to uh, Demetri McKinney and Candy Burris's Unnecessary Trouble. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. And I just got done doing my walk not very long ago, so I'm still, whew. Exhausted over that. Like again, y'all if y'all have never walked uh seven point seven five miles and you do and do it like back to back or do so many within a week, I'm telling you, just doing it in general is rough and uh it's rough on your boy. But I'm a little tired from that and still just trying to do a whole lot of multitask because the more videos that I can get knocked out this week, the better. And I'm only doing this because, like I say, you never know. I might just have something to talk about for Jumpstart January, but I don't want to commit to it and not necessarily have content, you know. So, And at the same exact time, I don't want to, God forbid, get sick. Because uh, I don't like, I don't want to sit here. And, I'm one of those where on some real shit, I don't like saying, "Hey, I'm going to do this," and then I don't do it. You know, I don't like that. I don't. I don't, I don't like making vows and promises. So, if anything, what I would probably say when I do Jumpstart January is, I'm going to attempt. So that way, like, I'm not binding myself into anything. But don't stop December. I was going to do it regardless because, as y'all know, I was going for five weeks uh from late october to mid-november and i tried to put out as many videos as i could while i was out doing what i had to do that's why y'all got those white screens uh because some people sitting here thinking oh shit he reading somebody no i'm not reading nobody i'm just on location and i and i said by virtue of my job it's certain shit i don't want in the background because even though it may not be sensitive to me it may be sensitive and you know, hey, right? I, this is a job for me. Part of part of his job, part of his career. I'm not trying to lose either. You know, fucking around with job. Uh, 
<clears throat> so yeah, that's all that I'm doing right now. Just trying to, you know, let y'all know, keep y'all uh, informed about uh, what it is that I am doing. Also, this week, um, my plan is to go grocery shopping. Uh, vlog as much as possible without getting in trouble necessarily. And even if I can't uh, vlog it, when I come back, just kind of show you guys what I purchased and uh, do some in the kitchens and more or less have them um, aiming towards just <clears throat> showing you how, you know, what, because like I said, I'm single, so I'm actually going to buy bulk food, but show you how you can buy bulk food as a single person and still save money, still have food for days and everything. Uh, make a heads, preps, you know, in the event something go left in your day, because I'm pretty sure we've all had a day where <clears throat> we thought everything was going to go right and then shit starts happening and then, oh, fuck, I don't have time to make this or make that. So now you have to buy some fast food or some shit like that. So And then also showing you guys how to do it because we all have rainy days. <clears throat> and when I say rainy days, I mean some unexpected shit happened. You had to sit here and go into your nest egg and, you know, spend, spend it on this and that. Or you just depleted all your damn funds and you get to a point where it's like, okay, either I pay for this or I buy food. You know, that's another reason why I buy in bulk is... You know, I have some of those months do happen, and as long as I got food, I'm good. I can sit here and take care of everything else. But a motherfucker gonna eat. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna eat. You, you ain't got to worry about that. So yeah, and you know, good news is I am approximately. I think I probably already said this. Ten pounds away from my initial goal of 220. So 220 is my initial goal. So and it's kind of crazy that I started out at 275, and then my initial goal is 220. For anybody trying to lose weight, I do not recommend that you have that big of a jump <laughs> because it's it's actually uh, most people become discouraged. I only did that because I knew it. Well, I, I mean, I was determined. I'm determined to at least get down to 220. My thing is, if you're going to do it, set like five to ten pound increments and like work your way down. But uh, <clears throat> my first goal was 220. Um, <clears throat> my second goal is 200. And my end all be all is 190 by December next year. 190. I think that is um is a uh, is doable. I do uh, 220. Like I said, I'm just 10 pounds away from that, <clears throat> and just working my way down until you know 200 and 190. So <sighs> we will see what happens. We definitely will. So. Um, yeah, I think that is about it, and uh, yeah, I'll be back with more. <sighs> Doing quite a bit, um, actually. Like so, let's see. You guys can see the camera there. If I can get this done right, in the process of doing a product review, and actually yesterday went and I uh, picked up a lot of food, so trying to get this done. Uh, like a 10 pound thing of ground beef, have those separated there. Uh, let's see if y'all can try to make sure y'all can see you got some strawberries, tilapia, um, what else? Flounder. I got my uh, broccoli in the back. And I know y'all are really like, that's a lot of ground beef. Yeah, it is. 10 pounds. But, like I said, I mean, because here's the thing some of this is my roommate's, but the food that I showed you is mine. Single on a budget bodybuilding on a budget but I've already uh, used two pounds to make uh, some uh, I guess we could say beefed up uh, meatballs uh, like another pound and a half for some taco meat because it's New Year so I'm actually going to do some uh, uh, nachos so it is what it is I mean shit y'all can look in the fridge you, you, okay you, 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 your boy going to do some damn drinking and shit okay but Trying to get y'all to see, like I said, I mean, I got some, um, uh, Ezekiel, uh, what is it? Yeah, Ezekiel 49, that's our flax bread. Um, made some, uh, strawberry compote, pretty much when I make my, uh, pancakes. Something nice sweet to put on there. Uh, the meatballs are there. Taco meat in the bag, so. It's gonna be real good, real crazy. But, hey, you know, it's just something for y'all to think about. You buy them both if you can break it down like this, prep some, and even with the meatballs, if I don't eat them today, 
or tomorrow. I'm just throw them in the fucking freezer. But that's just an event that I want some other than nacho. So, be back. Okay, so I am like three hours away from uh, 2016. I have my little uh, psycho mom. I guess we could say uh, mallet hammers. <laughs> But I'm like three hours away from uh, the uh, new year. I finished doing a blab. Uh, like I said, um, James Colo had joined me for it. Like I said, I appreciate that. Uh, he has been a fantastic supporter of me this past uh, year. My first year on YouTube has been awesome. Um, let me see. Uh, just read my book one. She... she uh, Join the Blab 2. Her daughter pops in a little bit. Uh, the Ghetto View stopped by, but uh, Blab kept kicking her off. If all goes well, that Blab should uh, be up on her channel. If not, then I'll upload it on mine, but I'll give it like two days. Um, and I'm, I mean, I was like, I'll give it two days, and if it doesn't, then I'll upload it. Because uh, honestly, with the, uh, I guess we could say Blab talk, but we're calling it the panel because it is a group of us. It's to it's to help everybody. It's a branding process. It's for all of us to just come together, shoot the shit, have a good time. And even though the panel is set members, you know, like I said, the, I've already uploaded a blab talk, and it was a five parter. So there's really no need for me to upload this one. You know what I'm saying? And why not let somebody else do it? And I'm like, well, since the get if you wanted to jump on, well, I'll let her do it. You know, it's just one of those things. So it just makes it easier. It builds great relations. And it shows everyone watching that YouTubers, especially black YouTubers, can come together and just do something, you know, great, you know, and not have everybody thinking, oh, my gosh, everybody is beefing with somebody else, you, you know? So, like I said, that is up. I am um, going to do my best to participate in Jumpstart January. I say that because anything can happen, and I know, and not every January that I have is going to be busy, but I, I mean, I say I know because I don't want to speak anything into existence, but there's a possibility that January is going to be very, very stressful, so I don't want to commit to jumpstart January because I hate promising something and not doing it. I really do. So I'm going to try make an attempt to do jumpstart January. The only thing is if I do it, I won't be able to do like the weekly uh, topics and whatnot because again, I'm going to be busy. So my thing is at a minimum, like I did with don't stop December, you guys will get one video every day in December. I mean, in January, that's how it's going to go. And partially, excuse me right now, because when I say I've had quite a few beers to drink, damn it, it is New Year's Eve, and I was doing a blab, and I even said I was going to be drinking during the blab, and I actually was. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this, this year is coming to a close, despite the uh, ugly and the bad that has happened this year. It really hasn't been that bad, especially um, when I focus on the good. In 2016, like I said, it's going to be a year of branding for me. A year of, um, you know, literally branding myself, this channel, reaching out, and pretty much using social media to the fullest extent. Like with Blab, you know, not just doing Blab to do it, but again, with the uh, Blab Talks, what we call the panel, getting various YouTubers together. And just being able to come together. And again, like I said, I could upload that video. It's not for me. But giving it to the ghetto view, she has more subscribers than I do. But at the same exact time, you never know. I might have a handful of subscribers that she don't have. And that gives them an opportunity to go over there and see what she has going on. Or she might have, like I said, or a good example. She has more subscribers than I do. And more subscribers than just read my book. But they might enjoy just read my book one. And might decide, you know what, let me go check her out. You know, it's all about us branding ourselves. It's all about us supporting. And the reality is what a lot, what many people don't say, and I'm going to say, YouTube is a huge, huge ocean. We're all fishing. You have some people that feel, oh, I have this niche and I don't want nobody to eat. 
Hey, you got real wants everybody to eat. If you're on YouTube, damn it, I want your ass to eat. You feel what I'm saying? And what I do is what I do. And even though, like, because if you, like, break up <clears throat> everything that I do, there's a YouTube uh, person or personality that does that. But when you take everything that I do and merge them into one, there's nobody doing all of that. And I'm not trying to talk about myself, but I'm being honest. Because, like I said, I do cooking. You can find many YouTubers that do cooking. I have a spirit and soul segment. You can find many YouTubers that will sit here and talk about God and praise God. Trending topics. You will have many that do that. Uh, tea Time Talk, which is me talking about my life. You will have many that do that. Reality TV show reviews. You will have many that do that. Um, scripted show reviews. Many that do that. Product review. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. But it's seldom that you will find a YouTuber that literally does all of that in one. And granted, yes, a lot of stuff, but it's kind of what makes me, well, me. And, yeah, like I said, I'm going to, at a minimum, do weekly vlogs. More or less on the weekend, I'm going to try to do, uh, I won't necessarily say full vlogs, but maybe like vlog the day. You know, kind of let you guys, and even though it's kind of scary to me, but y'all get into my mind and my psyche and just see how I operate. But, you know, just something different. But trust me when I say, <clears throat> and I'm saying this, if you are a YouTuber, I hope that you are claiming what I'm about to say. But 2016, more or less for me, and I hope it is for you, is going to be a year of branding branding yourself branding ourselves you know let's get rid of being selfish and being and let's begin to be selfless let's reach forward let's reach back let's hold hands let's not do the crab in the barrels but let us be a family because that's what we need to be you know no matter if somebody has you know 200,000 subscribers or somebody has three we can always hold that person's hand and build them up. You know, we can always do that. So outside of that, no one understand the spirit and soul segments, even though they were far and few in between. Like I said, I wait for the download to God from God to speak because I don't like to speak out of term. Trust me, I do not. I hate that because like I said I can miss my blessing and I can mess with somebody else's blessing doing that. But those are going to come. Um. <clears throat> This, I'm going to do a lot of in the kitchen um, from the aspect of just regular food to uh, my version of soul food, if you will, like a kosher soul food. And even to uh, just the uh, fitness version where it's just like creating dishes that can help with, you know, uh, weight gain or weight loss. And when I say weight gain, I mean, you know, building muscle and not necessarily fat. But uh, just doing all of that, I'm still going to do uh, my reality show recaps and still just adding more. And, you know, I was happy that I think it was, um, I think it was uh, IDLCY or YC. I forget the exact uh, company. But, what I, you know what, let me find it because I don't want to sit here and misquote. I, I really hate doing that. But there was a uh, company that uh, sent me a French press. Okay, it was IDYLC Homes. They sent me a uh, French press. I did the um, unboxing, the testing, and the review. I'm going to start doing that when it comes to products. Now, if I already have it, then it's just pretty much going to be just a review if I already have it. But they were nice enough to, you know, send me that French press free of charge. And all they wanted me to do was mention it. And I'm just like, no, I'm not going to do that. You know, they're being so nice to send me something. So I actually, you know, did exactly what you guys saw. I opened it up. I tested it. And I reviewed it. And, you know, I still have uh, companies uh, wanting to do partnerships with me. Uh, you know, hopefully I will have more companies willing to send me items to review, hopefully. But when I say that yeah, 2016 is going to be that year for branding, that is exactly what it is. When it comes to fitness, you guys are going to see more of that. If you guys are not already on the T Spillings BU 365, again, the link to the fan page is down below. The January challenge is already out. And uh, like I said, if you haven't checked that out, go through the playlist, get on that. Because uh, if all of y'all are turning up tonight, y'all going to need to start on that damn challenge, okay? And, uh, yeah, just, you know, just trying to make this year just a blessed year for everybody. 
And again, if you guys don't know what the whole TSBU, TSBNT spelling, BU, BU365, you guys don't know what that is, check it out. Because when I say there's going to be so much more coming under that, there's going to be so much more. So this is the very first full vlog. And at a minimum, you guys will receive one vlog from me a week. And if I can give you guys one for the week and one for Saturday and one for Sunday, I would definitely do that. So thank you guys so, so much for uh, rocking out with me. And I know you guys see my uh, two little uh, rock of Sakuma mallets. Yeah. They're here too. So thank you guys so much. I... <sighs> When I say I love you guys, I really do. Um, it's uh, it's it's crazy when I can come on camera and all of you guys understand me more than I also real shit my family do. And like I said, as you guys see with these vlogs, this like I said, I'm not green screen lights and everything going. Like you're getting me raw, unfiltered, uncut, and right now you're getting me tipsy. <laughs> But, um, again, thank all of you so much for uh, rocking out with me. I will, again, continue to do the shout-out Saturdays if you guys want um, to be shouted out for whatever it is. Wait for those videos. <laughs> but just let me know down there, and I will definitely put you guys in the queue. Like I said, I'm all about support. Had it not been for some big YouTubers shouting me out, I would not be where I'm at, okay? And there was something else I wanted to say and I can't think about it. Meh. I guess that's it. So, this is it. 2016 is around the corner, you guys. While you guys have a little bit of time, hopefully you see this before 2016, but think about the ugly. Think about the bad. But focus on the good. Try to find the blessings in the ugly and in the bad. Because believe it or not, there... You guys have no idea. There is a blessing in the bullshit. There is a mess in the message. There is a testimony in every test. Trust me when I say. But you have to be willing to find those silver linings. You really do. So, that's all that I have. Thank you guys for rocking out with me for 2015. Expect bigger and better things from you, boy. I love all of you. Have a blessed new year. And I'm hoping to see all of you in 2016. I love all of you. Peace.